Well, you are the best athlete in the world right now. Appreciate it. I was on top for a long time. Yep. Come back after five years. Absolutely. I'm hungry. Hey. You're making me a better as athlete. You should be. As I'm going to make you a better athlete, bro. As, you, as it is. And Happy Monday, June 12th. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jeremy Buendia and Aaron Banks met up for Olympia battle number two. You are not gonna wanna miss that. We had two pro shows, two new Olympians this weekend. You're not gonna wanna miss that either. Either I do wanna shout out Mr. Tarek Elgindi for letting me have access to Olympia TV so I can bring you guys this footage. I'm telling you, this video is gonna be a banger. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I'm gonna shut up because I got a long video to do and I'm excited for you guys to be a part of this. Without further ado, let's go. Eric Elgindi with the Mr. Olympia, Olympia Battle Edition number two. We have the current Men's Physique Olympia champion, Aaron Banks, and the four-time Men's Physique Olympia champion, Jeremy Buendia. A lot of people love the workout, but they said, Tarek, these guys are friendly. We want people that hate each other. I got you. <laughs> we got Aaron Banks and Jeremy Buendia. Aaron, why don't you like Jeremy Buendia? <laughs> oh, here you go. Here here you go, man. You you know we just man. I'm here to put on the show. That's about it, man. It's it's me versus him, and we gonna we gonna we gonna tear this back workout up. Sounds good, Jeremy. A lot of people counting you out, saying, "Well, the criteria has passed." Jeremy Buendia, he won in the past, but the present is Aaron Banks. What do you have to say? The past to the past, and the present's now. That was five years ago. Jeremy Buendia is a lot different now. Five years later, I'm looking to put on a show for you guys. I'm looking to give Aaron a run for his money. Whoa, 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 Aaron. I want that same energy that you brought to the table last weekend when a few of my followers sent me your live talking about how Jeremy Buendia has absolutely no fucking chance against you or Brandon at the Mr. Olympia. Now you're saying you're just here to put on a show. I was looking for you to get the mic and say, Jeremy, you're going down, baby. What happened to all that energy, Aaron? Come on, baby. I guess internet talk is a lot different than real life. Meanwhile, Jeremy Buendia says, hey, it's been five years since I stepped on that men's physique stage, boys, and I'm looking to give Aaron a run for his fucking money. Woo! Okay, keep that chest up. Chris playing. Oh, them shoulders roll over. Chris playing. <laughs> yeah, Chris playing. Let's go. <laughs> he, he, he's trying to get us done and out of here <laughs> in, in 20 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. It's just a warm up. <laughs> Let's bring it this Come on, baby. Championship right he, now. Oh, he Let's said go. championship. It's a warm Come up. On, man. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Hundreds of us were on that live. I put it on my Instagram story. I was like, guys, hop on to the Olympia TV live. I'll be on there in the chat so we can talk. And the first thing that everyone noticed is, hey, the vibe is pretty chill. If you guys have been watching my videos over the last few weeks, the vibe was definitely not chill between Jeremy Buendia and Aaron Banks. And as you can see here, it was pretty chill. One thing I want you guys to understand is you are watching the evolution of men's physique. The biggest and the most popular comment that I continually saw was, holy shit, Jeremy looks huge. He looks like a bodybuilder. He looks massive compared to Aaron Banks. Aaron Banks looks natural. Does Aaron Banks even lift? This is crazy. Boys, this is the evolution of men's physique from, I mean, 2014 to 2017. Jeremy Buendia had the physique that was winning men's physique, Mr. Olympia titles. Now we have it 2021, 2022, entering 2023. Aaron Banks is the new shape, is the new physique that the judges love. Who would have thought a 6-1 physique would be the new Mr. Olympian men's physique? Well, you graduated, what, 06? Okay, so, dude, you know what? I guarantee you I scrimmage against you. Because we came out to Fred Whitney High School. Pretty cool moment there. Aaron Banks and Jeremy Buendia found out that they actually were competitive against each other, played high school football together, which is just crazy because look, 10, 15, whatever years later, here we are. Now they're getting ready to battle on the most you know, competitive bodybuilding stage in the world. The Mr. Olympia is just wild. I want you guys to tune in here. Jeremy Buendia is getting ready to take off his shirt a physique reveal on the live. How's our boy looking? How's our four-time men's physique champ looking? How many months out of Olympia? It's June, Olympia's in November. How is Jeremy Buendia looking? 
I'd say he's looking good. I say he's looking in shape. He's definitely big. He's definitely bigger, thicker, denser than Aaron. Will that play in his favor at the Olympia or will that hurt him? We're going to have to wait and see. One thing I didn't notice is who didn't take their shirt off. And no, I'm not talking about Chris Cormier. Shout out to that guy. I'm talking about Aaron Banks in the background. So here we have Jeremy Buendia with the shirt off. I was waiting for Aaron to take his shirt off. Aaron, how come the shirt wasn't taken off? I wanted to see an Aaron Banks offseason shirtless just like Jeremy Buendia. You are the best athlete in the world right now. Appreciate it. I was on top for a long time. Yep. Come back in five years. Absolutely. I'm hungry. Hey. You're making me a better as athlete. You should be. As I'm going to make you a better athlete, bro. As, you, as it is. And we're going to go to war in November. Let's get it. That's it, baby. All, no it's all love, man. All love. One. You guys know what it is. Who would have thought? All this shit talking on the internet, especially from Aaron's side and his fans and his supporters, who would have thought these two would have met up in person and it would have been so professional? Did Aaron get humble? Did Aaron get intimidated by the four-time champ, Jeremy Buendia, poking his fingers through his chest right there, telling him, I respect you, but I'm coming for your neck in November? What is going on? During that chat, a lot of us were freaking out. What's happening, boys? Yeah. Okay. Did you notice how they photoshopped my pictures and all the... <laughs> the one around like this, oh, like this. my arms are like oh, 30 inches. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming after are you, bro. <laughs> Hello, athletes and fans of bodybuilding. Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia, Olympia Battle. You want to know who won this? Go on Olympia Instagram. There's a poll right there where the fans can vote. Do you think Aaron Banks won Olympia Battle 2 or Jeremy Buendia on Olympia Instagram right now? You go there and you vote for whoever you think won this battle. Aaron Banks, you're the current champion. What a great workout. Congratulations, man. You're the king of the back. We saw your back development over there. I was impressed. Do you have any modifications going into the 2023 Mr. Olympia? Um, first off, um, with, with, with how you just said, the polls on Instagram, we, we, we both won today. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, like, like we said, we do what we do on Instagram for, for the inter entertainment, but we really both worked our ass off today. So hats off to Jeremy and what, what you did today and, you. and what we brought to the community of bodybuilding. So, um, but going into this year's 2023 Mr. Olympia, uh, we're just going to become more polished. Um, yeah, of course, the judges don't want to see me bigger, of course, with all this weight cap and height cap stuff. So it's, um, it's just me being, being more polished. That's about it. Sounds good. He is the current Olympia men's physique champion. Jeremy, you're coming back. A lot of people counted you out. They said, man, he's long gone. He's in the past. You came in here, had a great workout. In the end, you took off your shirt. You wanted to show the fans that you're ready for the 2023 Mr. Olympia with the men's physique category. Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, you guys know the past four or five years has been a roller coaster for me. I've had a lot of ups and downs, especially after um, losing my last title. I went through a lot of hard times in my life and I had to get a lot of things right. And uh, coming back here, to do my first Olympia event in five years, it means a lot. And I just hope this motivates and encourages people that are going through tough times that uh, maybe you're living with some guilt in your life, feel guilty for some past mistakes you made, but there's always an opportunity to better yourself and make changes. Every day is a new chance to renew, redeem yourself, renew yourself, and to become a better person. And um, in the past, as a champion, I could have represented this sport a lot better. And uh, that's why I want to do this next time around is come back and be a good ambassador of the sport and show everybody what it takes to be a champion. And Aaron, my hat's off to you, bro. You're a tremendous competitor. You've elevated this division a lot. And um, I have my work cut out for me, and that's why I've been working so hard the past several months, because I knew I was gonna come here and have to battle you. And I tell you what, bro, I have eat, sleep, and trained nonstop in preparation for this, because I know how good you are. And we have five months to go. You're the guy to beat. There's a whole list of competitors that are phenomenal, but you're at the top of the list, bro and you deserve that. But at the end of the day, we're both champions. We both know what we want, and I'm coming for your top spot with all due respect, and the best is gonna win in November, brother. That's it. Boys, I, I don't know if anyone enjoys this shit as much as I do. I'm getting chills listening to that, and that's my hundredth time listening to that. <laughs> Girlfriend's laughing. If you, wonder, if you wanna know who won the actual Olympia battle, 
uh, Jeremy Buendia one. He put up a new video. Go check it out. Go check out Olympia TV's video of this live. Jeremy put this thumbnail up. I just saw it last night. 81% versus 19%. Jeremy Buendia wins Olympia battle number two. And it feels like Jeremy Buendia is the people's champ. And right now, Aaron Banks is the physique champ, is the men's physique champ. I like what Sinsel says up here. It says, in person, different vibes than over the internet. And I think we saw that. The biggest thing that was just very apparent to everyone was like, man, these guys are chill. What happened to all that beef on the internet? When they meet up in person, it's like they're literally best friends. Very interesting. My take on that is like, you know, they're both professionals. They understand that they're not going to show up to this Olympia TV event and start fighting and make it ugly for everyone. Like, it, it's hard. They're boys. They do the same thing. They lift. They're both Olympia titles. They've been through similar shit. Like, you know, at the end of the day, there is a certain amount of respect that they are going to have for each other in person. And that's what you saw. Go check out that Olympia live TV. Go watch it back. It was like three hours. It was awesome. Greg Johnson says this workout is showing the difference between someone training and competing for over 10 years and someone who's only been doing it for about two or three years. Seasoned versus newbie. Jeremy Buendia versus Aaron Banks. And I thought Jeremy Buendia did work out a lot harder than Aaron. Um, that was definitely apparent. The intensity from Jeremy was there. I'm sure Jeremy's a little bit stronger. It looks like Jeremy just trains harder uh, normally throughout his week compared to Aaron Banks. Uh, Detective Mr. Chang says, they should have got Brandon Hendrickson too. That dude is crazy good. I never talk about Brandon, or at least I have in the last few weeks, just so everyone knows. I have not forgotten about Brandon Hendrickson. I still think he is one of the best physiques in the world, and he still can win this Mr. Olympia. Do not count out B. Henny. Uh, Kimber Laker says, JB's got a lot of size to lose if he wants to be competitive in men's physique. Still got a lot of time. I have faith in him. And that's the biggest question with the evolution of men's physique, where we're seeing men's physique heading, especially with this new weight and height cap that'll be announced in 2024. In 2023, there is no weight and height cap in men's physique. That'll be after this year's Mr. Olympia for that competition season. Saying that, Jeremy might be too big for men's physique. I hear time and time again, whether it's Tyler Manning or other judges around the league, say that men's physique guys, we don't want them to have big arms. Aaron Banks doesn't have big arms. People shit on Aaron's arms for not being big enough. He is the Mr. Olympia for men's physique. The arms do not need to be too big. Jeremy looks massive compared to Aaron. Completely different physiques. Will that be an issue for Jeremy at the Mr. Olympia? We're going to have to see. What I will see, what I will say is if Jeremy Buendia comes in 100% and just looks fantastic, and let's say he doesn't fit the division anymore, that's still going to be fun as fuck to watch, boys. You know what I'm saying? I want to see 100% healthy Jeremy Buendia on that Men's Physique Olympia stage in November, whether he wins or not. I'm just excited to see it, boys. That's the main thing from this video. That's the main thing I want you guys to take away watching this is that in person, these guys have respect for each other. They're not going to fight. They're not going to bring that internet attitude that you really see Aaron pounding in, that everyone you know sends me DMs. Man, look what Aaron said about Jeremy. Look at all the shit in person. It's different. They're going to have respect for each other. As these months go on, we might see that change. You know, Again, at the end of the day, Jeremy wants to beat Aaron, and he's going to do everything in his power to do so. This weekend, Ricardo Croce wins the Mile High Pro. Dude, I actually got a call from guys who were doing the 4K video for the Mile High Pro. I was supposed to do like a live stream collab commentation with their 4K video, kind of like Gilco. Didn't work out, but I do want to shout out Ricardo Croce for winning the Mile High Pro. Went Ricardo Croce, second place was Ramsey's Rams. Third place was Drew Colon, most shredded again. Stepping in the men's physique stage and getting a really nice finish. Keep your eyes on Drew Colon. He's very underrated, but he has a tremendous fucking shape and he keeps on proving time and time again. You don't need to be the biggest guy in men's physique to do very well. We have fourth place Bassa in the red. I have no idea who that is. In fifth place, we have Jason Hune. Uh, interesting comment with this photo. Vanquish coach says if we're focusing or if we're factoring in legs for judging now, which we're not, Ricardo had no business winning. 
which was not the best comment, boys. Titan cause Ricardo's Croach tags him and says, he has legs, trust me, brother. Not big ones like Classic for sure. And yes, small calves, like even the top Mr. Olympia, look at Aaron Banks, but balanced and built on what they want from division. We got feedback directly from Olympia judges. A lot of people can't stand men's physique because they're just used to looking at bodybuilders and classic physique guys with these giant legs. 99% of these men's physique guys have tremendous legs. If you pulled up those shorts, I'm telling you the legs would be incredible, man. A lot of people just need to understand that. If you're a true men's physique athlete, pro guy that watches this channel, you get that. But again, shout out to Ricardo Croce. This guy looks crazy. He's been busting his ass for months. I think you're already qualified for a show, Ricardo. Great job, brother. I met Ricardo actually a year ago in Boston. He's a great guy. DC Pro, I have one question. Yes, Vitor Chavez won but who the fuck was supposed to be winning the show? Who the hell was supposed to be at least in the top three? Where the hell is Charjo Grant? Charjo Grant, if you don't know, got fourth place at the 2022 Mr. Olympia, and I haven't seen him get in the top three at any pro show this year, and he's done multiple shows. I'm going to ask you boys again, where the hell is Charjo Grant? Good to see second place, Stephen Cow up there. Third place, Gochez Pro. Let's go. Fourth place with Stanimal. Fifth place, Victor Ramirez. And here you go, boys. Vitor Chavez. I put, dude, I, do I need to put up this reel? Do I need to put up this reel right here? Vitor Chavez is going to be a menace this year. Y'all are going to know his name. You guys remember that reel. It has hundreds and hundreds of, has like 300,000 views. I talked about Vitor Chavez and how dangerous this Brazilian is. In the 2022 Mr. Olympia, he placed in the top 15, which rarely, 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 rarely happens as a men's physique pro doing your debut at the Olympia. Vitor's huge, man. Vitor has a lot of muscle. He really needs to tighten up and become and be really dry on stage. Conditioning needs to be nailed because that midsection can kind of distend. Here it looks pretty good. Vitor looks incredible. Really proud of Vitor for winning the DC Pro. Congratulations. What's next, Vitor? Where are you going, bro? You know I love your physique. Dense, thick fucking muscle out of Brazil, boys. I mean, and this is how the live stream kind of left. This is the vibe between Aaron Banks and Jeremy Buendia. I want to leave you guys with this. Uh, these were some comments on the Olympia Live TV's Instagram uh, about the workout, about the battle, too, between Jeremy and, and Aaron Banks. Ebanks says, dope workout session. Uh, and Jeremy Blaine Dia replies down below. He says, agree, blow, bro. We are going to push each other uh, to our personal best this year. Glad we got to do this and formally meet. Aaron Banks replies to Jeremy Blaine Dia, all is well, my friends. You thought they were going to fight, man? I got DM saying, boys, hard. Are they going to fight when they go on this Olympia TV? No, they're not going to fight. Jeremy, er, Aaron Banks replies and says, big facts, G, same here. You guys have to let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of this live? What did you think of these two finally meeting up? I feel like I've been talking about them, talking shit to each other for the last three, four months, or at least Aaron talking shit to Jeremy. I don't know how much shit Jeremy's been talking on the internet. It hasn't been very much. What did you think of that? What did you think of them finally meeting up in person? That was crazy. That was nuts, man. And then more Olympians added to the uh, uh, qualified Olympia list. I'll do a video on that later this year. Two new guys, Vitor and Ricardo. Congratulations. If you guys are interested in coaching, please hit me up. I'm here for you. Send me a DM. We'll get going. It can be contest prep. It can be lifestyle. Get in the best shape of your life. Whatever you need. And then Huge. If you want some of the best supplements right now in the industry, I am with Huge. I take them every single morning. They power my wor workouts. They power my videos. They help me go to sleep with their supplements. So many great supplements. You can use my code heart if you need that but other than that boys it's monday june 12th 6 17 a.m i hope you enjoyed the video go get after it today get up you know put on this video i hope it gives you that momentum you need to have a very awesome productive day whatever that means for you i hope you feel good i hope you move good i hope your family's good man i love you boys i'll see you on thursday love you guys